Our first problem will deal with test for divisibility. Which of the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, and 12 divide 391,248? Let's start with the number 2. To determine whether or not a number is divisible by 2, we're going to look at the last digit. So when we look at 391,248, we can look at the value of 8 and decide that, yes, 2 is going to be a divisor of this particular number. Yes for 2. Now let's look at the number 3. To determine whether or not 3 divides this number, one way is to take the digits and add them together. This will allow us not to have to actually do the division. And so we're going to add together. We end up with 3 plus 9 is 12 plus 1 is 13, plus 2 is 15, plus 9 is going to be 19, and then 19 plus 8 is going to give us a value of 27. If our sum, 27, is divisible by 3, which of course it is, 27 equals 3 times 9, then yes, we can say that 3 is going to be a divisor of this number. Now let's move to 4. To determine whether or not a number is divisible by 4, we're going to just look at the last two digits, 48. If 4 divides 48, then the number is divisible by 48. Because 4 is a divisor of 48, we can say yes for the number 4. What about the number 5? To determine whether or not the number is divisible by 5, we're going to look again at the last digit. But to be divisible by 5, this last digit would have to be a 0 or a 5. Because that's not true, we have to say no for 5. What about 6? Well, 6 is equivalent to 2 times 3. So to determine whether or not a number is divisible by 6, we look back at what we found out in our first two steps. We know, yes, it's divisible by 2, and yes, it's divisible by 3. Those are two factors of 6 that have no common factors between them, and so we can say yes for the value of 6. To determine whether or not it's divisible by 8, we're going to take our number, 391248, and we're going to look at the last three digits. If 8 divides the last three digits evenly, then the entire number will be divisible by 8. Well, let's look at 248. If we divide that by 8, 8 divides 24 three times, 8 divides 8 one time, and that is going to be divisible by 8 because of our last three digits. So we'll say yes for 8. To determine whether it's divisible by 9, we go back to the idea of the sum of the digits. Because we have the sum of the digits equal to 27, and we know that 9 divides 27, we can now conclude that yes, it is divisible by 9. To be divisible by 10 would require the number to end in a 0. And since that's not true, we're going to have to say no for 10. And finally, to determine whether it's divisible by 12, we pick up two factors of 12 that have no factors in common between them. We know that 12 is equal to 4 times 3. No common factors between these. We'll look back at what we found out for each of those. We found out that yes, it is divisible by 3. Yes, it is divisible by 4, and therefore we can conclude that yes, it will be divisible by 12.